Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you through my glute workout routine. So I'm gonna take you through my glute routine with some tips and some and taking you through some sets, what some sets look like for me. This video hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notifications when I upload new videos. Let me know what other breakdown you wanna see of my routine. I think up next I might do back routine, so let me know if you wanna see that. All right, let's get into it. This day is usually a Monday for me. I like to start our, uh, my Monday with my glute workout because it is my toughest workout i like to do my cardio on monday mornings and i can start the week off all right i feel like it helps me release endorphins it helps me just overall kickstart the week with really good energy so i love starting my monday with cardio so what i'll do is i'll do 30 minutes of cardio on monday morning at 11 a.m i always go live for that that way i can give it my all too. you don't want to have Half give it your all to cardio half give it your all to glutes and I know that by the end of my glute workout there is no way I have the energy to do cardio so what I'll do is I'll do my 30 minutes of cardio in the morning and then at 8 p.m. I'll do my glute workout I make sure I have enough carbs enough protein enough water during the day so that that way by 8 p.m. rolls around I am fully energized and ready to do my glute workout. Now, this week was particularly hard because it was the first day of my period and I was cramping really, really badly and I did not want to show up, but we still showed up and we still got it done. The weights might have been lighter, which is totally fine. You will have those weeks, but the important thing is to show up, keep up with your routine, rest if your body's asking for rest. You want to do a good mobility workout before you start your glute workout. So definitely start with some warm-ups and take you through my mobility routine. Let me know if you want to see that below. Take my pre-workout. I will do my mobility routine, five minutes of cardio to get warmed up, and then we get right into glutes. The first workout that we're going to do is the cast glute bridges. <music> You want to bring your hips to full extension at the top and squeeze as you're coming up, squeeze those glutes. You want to keep your ribs down, core engaged the entire time and the chin tucked really helps to keep that core engaged. You want to make sure your knees are at a 90 degree angle so your knees are sitting right on top of your heel so when you're coming up you can push through the heel and come up and fully extend the hips. You don't want to overextend to the point that you're bringing your hips higher than your chest level because that can hurt your lower back. I usually do four sets of 10 to 12 reps depending on the weight that I'm doing. It can be eight to 12 reps if it's a more challenging weight. And I will always add an isometric hold at the end. This is basically you get to your last rep and then you just hold, hold, hold for a couple of seconds before you let that come down. You can hold for you know, eight, 10 seconds, and then make sure you're contracting at the top and then you can release. It's really gonna help burn those glutes. It's gonna feel so good. <laughs> you should take a rest for a minute and a half, two minutes, up to three minutes, depending on how heavy you are lifting. Make sure you're resting in between your sets too, so that you can give it your all to the next set. The next workout that we're going to do is a glute-focused RDL, or a glute-biased Romanian deadlift. Please take your time positioning yourself. The moment that you're setting up for a workout, you need to take that just as seriously as the workout. Make sure you're focusing, your posture is correct, and focus is stretching the glutes. So remember, hip hinging. So you're here, and you are stretching, and then again, 
going to do four sets of these, um, eight to 12 reps, depending on the weight that you're using. To make sure that you inhale and then exhale when you are contracting the muscle, which is when you're coming up. When you're here you can think on this movement when you're going to perform this movement think of pressing your heels into the ground so screw those feet into the ground and push up okay hopefully those tips help One thing that can help you is practicing these ones with uh, a stick that you have laying around your house. It can be the broomstick, whatever it is that you have, and practice bringing that stick as close to your legs as possible when you're coming down and then hinging back. Again, you don't want to overextend your back where you are arching your lower back. You want to keep your core engaged at all times and your chin tucked. This is definitely a harder movement to get down, but practice makes perfect. Practice, practice, practice. This movement every single week is going to feel so much better as time goes by. For the next workout of my glute routine, I like to do reverse lunges. Now this time I added a twist and I added a slider to that back leg that's coming back. With these, I'm really testing my balance and I'm really testing the contraction that I'm using. So the leg that's sliding back, I'm using this leg. This is the working leg, the one that's just standing there. The one that's sliding back, I'm using it to slide back, slide back. I'm coming down at an angle, hip hinging on the, come, on the way that I'm coming down. So I'm hip hinging, sending those hips back, and then I am coming up again forcing that leg up and I'm putting all my weight on this leg that's standing. So that contraction right here, it's really, you're really going to feel it in the glutes of that leg that is just standing. We're working on stabilizing with that glute. We're working our core by keeping it completely tight the entire time. We're working on our balance. These are a little bit too hard for you. Try them without the slider and uh, just try going back. It will get easier with time. If you need to hold on to something, hold on to something. Uh, remember, you have your working leg is the one that is standing and the other one is just there going down, but the one that is doing all the work is the one that is standing and static through the entire movement. And one advice that I can give you, this is one of those workouts. That this is a single leg workout. What I like to do is start with my weakest glute first, my weakest leg, give all my energy to that leg and then move on to the next one. The one that is smaller and needs more work is always first so that I can just give it all my energy. We're going to do three sets of reverse lunges, eight to 12 reps, depending on how much you're lifting. If you can push yourself for more reps and you don't have a lot of weights, push yourself for more reps, that's totally fine. 12 to 15, depending on what you're lifting and make sure you take breaks. If you need a break in between legs, take a break. But basically you do one leg, you rest one, two minutes, you know, I recommend two minutes in between legs so you can give it your all to the next one. And then you go for the next leg, rest again two minutes, do the other leg, and that's how you go. Practice your reverse lunges, practice, practice, hip hinging, core engaged, shoulders are down, they're not up here, they're here, okay? Shoulders, 
again up here you're putting a lot of tension on your traps we want to make sure our shoulders are down the grip is strong when we're coming down chin tucked and we're hip hinging for the last workout of my glute routine i like to do banded kickbacks That's This time I did my banded kickbacks with a cloth band, but I do prefer to do these with the rubber bands. They're a little bit more stretchy so I can get a better extension there, but whatever bands you have, you can make work. You want to hold on to something. So again, keep that core engaged, hip hinge a little bit, send those hips back a little bit. Like then with one of your legs, you're going to kick back. about these are your legs and instead of kicking straight back we're kicking here okay and you're kicking here again and you're going to do this 12 times Come back you don't want to over arch that back you don't want to kick it back in the way that you arch your back you want to make sure that that you get to the extension where you're really contracting that glute and then coming back do these a little bit faster i prefer to take my time but by this time i was completely exhausted my cramps were really testing me um but this was a really good burnout your rest in between the sets to make sure that you can give it your all to the next set and that is the glute routine this is a four workout glute routine you don't need to do much to be able to get a good workout at home all you need as you can see my bar um that one is two dumbbells and it has an attachment to turn it into a bar which is pretty cool but you could technically use your dumbbells if you just have dumbbells if you don't have a bench use your couch i used my couch for the longest of time don't let the lack of equipment limit you from getting to your goals these are the workouts that i have been doing consistently for years that have helped my glutes so much and i hope that they help you and any tips that i have given you help you with your glute growth We'll see you next time and I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you so much for watching and I absolutely love you. Okay, bye. See you next time.